What is metadata and why is it so important to SEO, search results, and showing up in Google? Well, metadata is the information behind assets on the web. It's a way of explaining what something is on the web so that search engines can identify things easier. And the more easy that we make it for search engines to identify the assets on our website, the better we will index and the higher we will show up on Google. So it starts with images. Images are one of the most important assets that your website's gonna have. And there's a couple different metadata pieces that an image can have. The very first one, the most important one, is its image title. So that's the name of the image. So when you drag an image off of your downloads folder from your camera onto your desktop, for example, it's gonna have a long string of numbers and letters probably usually, or it could have some other type of naming structure. We wanna label that properly. So we wanna name it exactly what it is. So if it's a photo of a building or a photo of a park or a photo of a product that we have, we wanna name it exactly what it is. First, the identification of it, this product, and then maybe the location and the date, the time, descriptive words. It wants to be, it wants to be properly labeled in a way that makes sense. So very first is the identifier for it and then the location for it and then maybe other like third tertiary items, so like the, the, the date or the timing or color, things like that. So that's the order that you wanna follow. So first we name the photo image. Then when you upload it to your website, there's an additional piece of metadata that you can add that helps even index further. And this is called an alt tag. So every single image that's added to the web naturally gets an alt tag added to it, but oftentimes those alt tags are left blank if you don't fill it out. So alt tags are read out by readers for people who are visually impaired. They will say, this is a photo of, and will read out what the alt tag says. So if there's nothing in the alt tag, it doesn't have anything to say. It'll just say there's a photo. But if you put a description, this is a box of oranges. It is located in Billings, Montana. The color of the oranges are orange, and the box is a tan box. So it describes it properly, we'll read it out. The better you set the alt tag, the better it's going to be for your SEO. So you wanna put the image in and you wanna put the alt tag in. And those two don't necessarily have to be the exact same title. They could be the same title, but it's a little bit better. You can do better SEO if you have the description on the photo and the alt tag be a little bit different from each other. So they're not exactly the same. But when you set both those, that is the maximum value that you can have for an image for SEO because you really wanna have the most metadata. And then also on your website, every single piece of information on your website can be labeled with what's called schema markup, which is another form of metadata that Google put out and other parts of the web put out. And it allows you to label every single part. So an article has a div ID equals article. You can wrap the text in that. So that opens up an article that lets the Google search spiders know that that's an article. You can also wrap an address. You can wrap a phone number. You can wrap hours of operation. You can wrap all kinds of different pieces, titles, people, names, places, things. There's literally hundreds of different schema markup names that can be used. So think about this. And if you don't have a web developer that's helping you with this, because it can be quite technical, definitely reach out to a web developer who specializes in SEO. My company, Skypoint Studios, is number one in the market, which means when you put in web design, you find Skypoint Studios number one. And the reason we do that and we're there is because we spent so much time and energy with all the little details of the metadata. So here's your little bit of homework for the day. Find out how much metadata your website has. And if it's lacking in metadata and your web developer doesn't even know what metadata is, find someone who does know about metadata and start to add little pieces. Add you know, five new pieces of metadata a week for the next you know, let's say 10 weeks. Now we have 50 new pieces of metadata on our website. And now let's look at our search results and see how well they improve. So this is Joe Phil with Skypoint Studios. I hope you enjoyed these videos and you're learning a thing or two. If you are, share them, like them, comment down below. Tell me what you uh, are doing to improve your metadata or if you know about schema markup or SEO, I'd love to chat with you about it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm gonna catch you on the next one.